Hello again, great to be with you. I hope you're well. Uh, over the last few days we've been looking at some passages from the Gospel of Mark. And today we're at uh, Mark chapter 4. I'm going to look at verses 3 to 8. This is a very well-known parable that Jesus told as he was teaching people. Um, it says this, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns which grew up and choked the plants so that it did not bear grain. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up, grew and produced a crop, some multiplying 30, some 60, some 100 times. Now this is probably one of the best known parables that Jesus uh, told. And I've heard quite a lot of sermons on it in, in my time, I even preached on it a couple of times myself. And we can read the interpretation of it um, a little bit later on in, in Mark's uh, chapter 4 of Mark's Gospel. But I want us to see something else here. Jesus went to great lengths in his teaching to help people see the connection between heaven and earth and to understand the fact that God works in the earthly realm as much as he does in the heavenly realms. Uh, it happens in ways that aren't always obvious to us unless we know what we're seeing and know what we're looking for. He did it by pointing to very familiar things, people that, things that people would know, and drawing them into a place where they became clearer. They could see God's hand at work. As a, as a young Christian, I had a, a knowledge of biblical content. I'd read the Bible stories. I knew something about Jesus' teaching. But I hadn't got any real understanding of the outworking of that teaching in any practical sense. So I'd read about Jesus healing people and performing miracles, but I had no understanding or even belief that that kind of thing could happen for us now. I only had very shallow roots. I hadn't understood that God worked now. Now eventually I, I came to a place where I was spending more time with mature Christians who knew more than I did, who had experienced more than I did, had a deeper understanding of God and how he works than I did. So I began to dig a bit deeper. My roots in God got a little bit deeper and I started to see more and started to understand more of what was happening in the world around me. I found more to nourish me and therefore I had more to share with other people. Walking with Jesus is like that. The more time we spend being fed and nourished by him, the stronger we get, the more we expect him to be able to do, and then the more we can do for him. Before you know it, you're filled with the Spirit and you're bearing a lot of the kind of fruit that he talked about. And that's a wonderful and really powerful thing to be able to do. Let's pray, shall we? Holy Spirit, I pray that you'd come and move among us today. I pray, Lord, that you'd come and fill us more with your presence. That you'd reveal a little more of heaven to us today. That you'd take us to a deeper place in our relationship with Jesus. I pray, Lord, that uh, you'd grant us deeper and deeper encounters with you. That you'd feed us so that we can feed others. That you'd bless and anoint us so that we might bear good fruit. The kind of fruit that will last. So we invite you, Lord, to be revealed in the things that we see around us, to see your hand at work in all the things that we do. Open our eyes, Lord, to the truth of heaven working in the earth. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.